try to get situated. So, for the eight, seven month update, I filmed a video about co-sleeping, which almost looks exactly like this, except, number one, it was a lot darker. So I was trying to show you my Christmas lights, um, but it kind of didn't work out. But anyway, um, so, filming about co-sleeping. I worked really hard last night to get all my bearded dragon stuff organized and I have it all in this stuff and the first one is going to be video ideas I just remove what I've done I just it it helps me make a well organized video and whatnot today is going to be about co-sleeping and this is a much debated topic. I will tell you my opinions. Obviously, my opinions are not the correct way. If you guys can hear that, that's my brother taking a shower. I do apologize. Obviously, my opinions are not the correct way. I am entitled to opinion opinions. I did... Okay, we're talking about a story here. So, Talking about opinions, I put a disclaimer in, okay? I will write a disclaimer, I will say a disclaimer, and I will put another one in the end. For one of my K-pop videos, I did the same thing. I was talking about K-armies versus international armies, and I put a disclaimer saying, this is not the correct view, it's just my opinion, don't come at me. Somebody came at me, and I'm like, you idiot, don't... Why would you even bother coming at me if I put a disclaimer in? She didn't even watch the video. If you are watching this video, you know who you are. Do not comment anything under the video. Because I'm not going to have it. So, my opinions are my opinions. They're not right. Well, granted, they're not... <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. I don't need to explain. They're not right. Well... Granted, they're not... You know what I'm trying to say. I don't need to explain it. <sighs> now that we got that out of the way, um, this is Michi. Say hi. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you guys are on my bed on top of a laundry basket because my broke butt doesn't have a tripod. <laughs> I do need to invest into a tripod, but I do not have one at the moment. Um, Michi is also going to shed his head. That's why he looks two different colors right now. Um, he looks really dead on his head. I really need to stop rhyming. His little belly. Look at his little belly. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no animal abuse goes on, okay? Let's get into the video. It's four minutes long, the intro, so let's just get into it. So for co-sleeping, I obviously wrote up a little thing. I'm going to go over the um, do's and don'ts, what I think um, about co-sleeping, and please don't poop. The good things and the bad things about co-sleeping. So I'm going to start with the bad things because I think it's a very serious topic when you're dealing with your own pet because if you don't if you aren't careful and if you aren't paying attention you can kill them and i don't want anybody to watch this video and then go do something and kill their pet and blame it on me so i'm going to start with the bad so that you guys understand and have a knowledge of what can happen um because i i want you guys to understand that it's all on you if you do something to your pet. That's my food! Don't touch my food with your dirty little paws. So, anyway. Um, first off, we have... I'm going to do the bad, and then I'm going to do the don'ts, and then I'm going to do the good, and then I'm going to do the do's. That sounds weird. Um, first off, it's, it's really short, but I'll discuss stuff. Um, first off, in the bads, we have sleeping is not good for heavy sleepers. Obviously, I don't need to really explain this because... Okay, if you guys don't know what co-sleeping is, it's when you go to sleep 
and your bearded dragon is in the same bed as you. Um, I do this with Michi every once in a while, not every night. I do it sometimes when I'm traveling because he feels uncomfortable in his cage, which is fine because I myself am a very, very light sleeper. Um, and I know that I'm a very light sleeper. And that's why I have such a hard time going to sleep is because I keep getting woken up. So I know that if he moves, I wake up and I do. I know myself, I know how I sleep, I know how Michi is. Um, and so that's why I do co-sleeping sometimes. Also, if you do co-sleep and you, it doesn't necessarily could be for heavy sleepers, but you could end up killing them if you do it improperly or the bearded dragon could run away while you were asleep and don't know it. Um, and then for the don'ts, don't sleep if you're a heavy sleeper because it's, it's really not good because you're just gonna, a lot of bad things can happen if you do it. And I saw this on Pansy Pan's channel, but I thought it was good to mention that um, some people think that if they wrap their beard of dragons up in a blanket, they're not going to like go anywhere. Um, don't do that because um, you could suffocate them, you could kill them, you could roll over on them, you could squish them, you could pop a lung. Not you, them. You could pop one of their lungs. It, it's just really not good. Don't wrap them in a blanket. Um... And also, don't co-sleep just to co-sleep. Like, just for the, like, saying, oh yeah, I co-slept with my bearded dragon. No. Co-sleeping is, it can be a bond booster, but it also can be a bond breaker as well. So you have to be really, really careful with how you go about it. You have to know your sleep cycle. You have to know his or its sleep cycle you have to know how they sleep michi is a very lazy sleeper if you if he is on me and his eyes are covered he's out he doesn't care where he is whatever i mean granted he's warm and whatnot but like other than that he's fine he's so he's so easygoing that's how i know that i can co-sleep with him because i'm a light sleeper and I know that if he moves, I'm instantly up in a moment. So let's talk about the good things because I don't want this to be a whole negative video. I'm just saying be very, very careful when going about co-sleeping. So the good things about co-sleeping is that the bond improves. I know my bond with Michi has improved when I have co-slept with him. They feel protected and I kind of feel comforted that they're on, that he's sleeping on me. I think anybody who does have a pet, anybody who does have a pet does enjoy when the pet does sleep on them. It also could save room if, like I said, if I was traveling and I didn't really have a bed for Michi or a tank for Michi. He could sleep with me if he has a heating pad. He's totally fine with that. So it could save room if it's like an emergency or whatnot. And it is, it's it's kind of fun to some extent because it's, it's really calming to see them sleeping and to know that they're safe and whatnot. Um, I don't want to sound too weird, but it's your pet. I mean, like I'm, I'm a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm raising this butthead, so it's really nice to know that he's safe and protected. Sorry. Um, so yes. Now all the do's. Um, do trust yourself if you are a light sleeper, because I do trust myself. There have been times where I've momentarily forgotten that Michi was in the same bed as me, but I have never heard him. Um... Make an area for the dragon. If they're not going to sleep on you and you toss and turn. I myself do move a lot. 
not a lot, but I do move in my sleep. And so if I don't want Michi on me, I have a little section of my bed that has my heating pad for him. And I just put him on that and he's fine. So make an area for your bearded dragon if you, it's not going to sleep on you. Like I said before, know your sleep style and your bearded dragon sleeping style and schedule because Michi gets tired like early in the afternoon. Not right now, it's like 12 o'clock, but like at 5 or 6 he gets tired and so then I know that, okay, if I put him in my hoodie, he's going to go to sleep or if I just cover his face, he's going to go to sleep. So I still have him on me sometimes when I'm just doing stuff around the house and he's perfectly fine being asleep. Just know your bearded dragon's sleep style and schedule. So that's basically it for co-sleeping. Um, I don't want to discourage, that's the word. I don't want to discourage anybody who's thinking about co-sleeping. I just want you guys to be really careful about how you go about it. Um, because I really don't want you guys to kill your bearded dragons or any other pet. But bearded dragons are, they have no way to protect themselves. They have no vocal cords. They can't like say anything. So, to me, that's scary. Like if I was a bearded dragon, I would have no way of verbally saying, hey, I'm being squished or something like that. So just be aware, just be careful. So... That's basically it for this video. Um, Michi looks like two different bearded dragons right now. His claws hurt so bad. So yes. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. Just, what are you doing? So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram. See his little things. It's gonna shed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.